fled the country. Has gone, fleeing to neighboring that obviously leaves a pretty huge vacuum that one can only assume the Taliban is going to fill. Um, I received a call from my wife, and she was saying, what's happening? I was kept telling her, I'm safe. Don't worry about me. She was crying and begging me to leave palace, and it's not safe. We went to one place from there to another place. Who was running? Like, they were panicked. I managed to get in the airport. Things were getting out of control. I'm thinking, what happened? A desperate scene unfolds at the Kabul airport. People here in the capital are utterly petrified and essentially have nowhere to look to now. I might face consequences that I never even dreamed of. The Taliban stormed into Kabul. Images emerging of insurgents in the country's equivalent of the Oval Office. The British and the Americans have spent billions, but the policy has been an abject failure. This war used to be called Operation Enduring Freedom, and it's turned out not to be enduring, and they're not leaving behind a society that is free. The greatest foreign policy humiliation in the history of the United States of America. I think most Americans were disturbed by the chaotic, desperate images of Kabul airport, as though they, there had been a sudden, unexpected destruction of the state. But I'm sitting at home watching all this, and I thought to myself, you know, this is the result of a long, slow-burning fuse. It wasn't months long. It wasn't even years long. It was about 15 years long. This is a history of missed opportunities where we could have snuffed out this fuse. Of course, there are things that we ought to have done differently. Can people find fault with the decisions that we made? I'm sure they can. There's a set of burdens and everybody who is involved has got to carry that with them. Thank you.